So in 1993, our faculty senate uh, formed a working committee where faculty really looked at what is the best way to educate our students. At the time, Judith Romali was um, doing incredible thinking and writing about the notion of an urban university. It was her claim at the time that an urban university wasn't simply a college or university located in a city. It was the relationship between the university and the urban environment with our community partners and with our community at large. So it fit her stance in the world that an urban university was gonna let knowledge serve the city. It's unpredictable, but that's the exciting part about it. I honestly felt like for once I was being trusted with, you know, a true responsibility. For each person in the class, they took away something different, something very rich and something very personal. You may go into it thinking that you're just one person, you can't make a change, but when you start to see that positive change occurring, it makes you realize that you can accomplish things. And the faculty designed the program to address the four university studies learning goals, which are communication, critical thinking, appreciation of human diversity, and a deeper understanding of one's social responsibility in the world. The capstone students come in and they're very tentative, they're nervous, this is a required course for them to graduate. So they come in a little skeptical and, and holding back. By about week four, they start to get it. They're bringing their table saws and their screws and they're, they're going out and finding materials. They're out there doing community development. They're raising money and they're getting things donated and they feel like they're doing something. Each term, our PSU Capstone volunteers uh, put in volunteer hours over the course of their term um, and they also put together a final uh, workshop or project for the youth. Over the course of the term, you really see the PSU students start to connect with the impact that they're making. And often that comes through one kid. Um, they'll meet a child and connect with that child. Um, and usually that's the aha moment, the time when they really realize that they're not just coming to have playtime, um, that them showing up means something to that child. We do run a regular homework club here in our community room. And the, without the Cupstones, that would not be possible because they have been the, the anchor, really, for our homework club program. And they are just really quality tutors. I think one of the core features of Capstones that is so successful is that it really is a space where it's clear that what we're doing is all actively learning through the collaboration that we're engaged in. Change happens by being in relationship, person to person, persons around a subject, persons to community partner, so that how do we retain a sense of the relational even as we look at larger and larger and different sorts of scope um, in which capstone work may happen. <laughs> Got it? The capstone is the engaging democracy capstone. I have approximately 30 students here in the uh, legislature. The uh, Almost all of them work directly with the legislator, though I have a few who work in, govern in the governor's office or with uh, interns and with lobbyists. It seems like a lot. It seems pretty heavy, so it would have, have to be um, laid out in a really organized fashion with a lot of subheadings and probably thrown in with the lecture. Portland State puts an emphasis on uh, community service and serving the community specifically in the capstone courses and you're able to get more involved this way and I feel like in a lot of you know just your general education courses it's just you know your normal like reading the material going to lecture taking tests but in this situation you get to delve right in and you get to be part of a community. Early on we started doing small projects educational focused now we have a separate nonprofit that focuses strictly on water. We're in our, I think, our fifth or sixth year now with the Capstone class, and, and to be honest, they, they do a great job. And it's always for our Walk for Water event, which uh, is essentially a community event that brings two aspects to it. I would say the biggest 
impact they make is going to the grade schools and doing classes on water. They pretty much run the day, and the success or failure of that day is based on them. It takes you beyond just being academically focused and gets you physically into a new environment and using your mental faculties and what you've learned so far in a new way. It puts students in contact with real organizations that have real needs and are providing real services to the community and citizens. I mean, that is the best experience that any student can get. Black denim with silver trim and I'm so relentless. Black rosary studded and I'm asking for forgiveness. In my young life, I had a lot of contact with law enforcement. So there was this part of me that wanted to explore juvenile justice as an adult um, in order to get a little bit closer to that younger part of myself. Students in small groups go into detention once a week. They visit the same unit each week. Um, so we have groups of students on four different units in juvenile detention and they bring in a writing and art workshop called The Beat Within. Getting to go there once a week and just spend an hour with the kids every week uh, was an incredible experience. And just um, realizing that these are just kids. They're just normal kids. What's so great about Capstone, you have so many disciplines. You have an English major with a business major with a social worker. So all these walks of life that really have to be part of that process. And when these kids see other kids doing it, it's, it gives them a, a bright spot. It gives them an opportunity. Hey, if you're doing it, I can do it. It's different when you're around a horse. They're, they're so large, and when you get comfortable with them, it can, it can give you um, a confidence that you, you may not have gotten just on a you know, peer to peer interaction with another person. So I met with the youth leadership at McLaren Correctional Facility. Um, and we began talking about some of my previous volunteer experience. The excitement in the group when we talked about equine therapy was so great that I knew I had to at least give it a shot. Watching the youth engage with the horses was, was really wonderful. In a very short time, you saw growth within them, and it was really great to be a part of that. They're all from different majors and disciplines. They have different fields of study, and they're bringing different areas of expertise, and they're working together. They're learning about different styles of leadership that are very effective in community building. I expected to kind of be a fly on the wall and to not be able to be as involved as I was. So it actually exceeded my expectations in a lot of ways. The capstones are by design small, intimate, 15 students in this capstone. That allows us to um, work collaboratively in teams. I take it from my own cultural lens that it's reminding the student that while their education may be a personal journey and they have their own personal goals, that ultimately we're going to need to work together. And when we look at PSU's motto, let knowledge serve the city, I can't think of a better way than honoring that collaborative spirit. How are they going to serve the community? How do we take the personal journey and work with uh, others to create a vision beyond our own? One of the uh, important focuses of Senior Capstone Program is the issue of diversity. And it is important to realize that when we talk about diversity, uh, we're not talking about an status a static state of the society or diversity. We really need to talk about the celebration of diversity. In other words, how do we realize the benefits of diversity? One of the ways diversity often gets framed, kind of out of a professional training mindset, is that diversity is a difficult thing that needs to be managed, that we have to figure out ways to um, mitigate against the challenges. And actually, I think in the best capstones and the best experiences in general, we get to recognize that diversity is a gift that we have, that we require multiple perspectives, we require multiple ways of understanding things, we require multiple types of lived experiences brought to the table if we really hope to make social change. 
I know you're in there, do you hear me? It's hard to recognize where you're trying to steer me Today I feel alive, death's nearing I know your name and I can see it all clearly Conversing with my devils Playing tug of war with my soul We need to work with the community We need to practice what we're learning If not, we're not truly learning at all These products here are marketing products to provide outreach and education about what the Water Bureau does. And so they do everything from produce posters and board games. Um, this is one of my favorite items. I keep it above my desk. These are the playing parts for one of the board games and the playing cards. I think we now have 20 years of really good experience and practice as capstone instructors in working with students, working with the community to develop this very sound and practical program that trains students to, to work beyond the university. great to be able to come full circle and see and hear that we have two major bills in the legislation. We have campuses all over Oregon. When students become engaged with both their head and their heart, that is the learning that sticks with them. Yeah.